Hey friends and happy holidays. Tonight I am hanging out at Epcot and actually the barges for the new nighttime show Harmonious are sitting out on World Showcase Lagoon. So we're going to be able to get our first look at them and also try some really nifty things from Festival of the Holidays. Let's go do this. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful night here at Epcot, so I'm very excited to try some of the Festival of the Holiday things that I haven't tried yet. One of the holiday booths that's actually open only on the weekends is the Waffles Holiday Kitchen, and they have a unique combination on waffles that I'm super excited to try. Here it is, and take a look. We have a gingerbread waffle to help celebrate the holidays, and then a turkey waffle. Stuffing waffle with turkey, gravy, and cranberry. I gotta try it. Wow, just take a look at this beautiful waffle and it's actually a turkey waffle like this is such a creative dish I feel like I don't know what's going on with the waffle batter itself I'm thinking there's stuffing actually mixed inside there or is it just stuffing like waffled? Oh wow, this just seems so good. I can't wait to eat it Look at this. Isn't this amazing? I am so excited. That is all stuffing right there. Just like I said Wow I am so excited to try this. I mean, because I am a stuffing fanatic and I also like waffles, so you can't go wrong. Now that we had ourselves a nice little snacky poo, which is absolutely delicious and possibly my new favorite festival of the holiday item, I think we're going to head right on over to World Showcase Lagoon and check out the barges. I'm very excited to see these. It is such a gigantic thing right in the middle of the lagoon. Oh, looks like the water taxi's coming in too. Oh, look at it's bigger than the boat. <laughs> And here is a little sign actually giving a little bit more details about Harmonious. It's going to be a stunning celebration of the global connection we all share. I am so excited. I was a huge fan of Illuminations and I cannot even, I can't wait. I seriously cannot wait for this to actually start. I need to move along and get myself a drink though. And I'm thinking maybe a maple cinnamon coffee beer. That sounds so good, Nate. And I'm here with Jackie, super enthused. Where'd she go? <laughs> Jackie! Jackie's trying to make uh, some very nifty food Instagram worthy pictures, but she's growing an audience. <laughs> They're anticipating just for you to drop just a little bit. So both me and Jackie got the cinnamon coffee beer, the maple cinnamon coffee porter, and I'm excited to try it. I'm not a big porter guy, but it's good. It is, it is delightfully delicious. <laughs> Jackie ended up getting a maple bush log or yule log, and it looks like one of those foods, it's just too pretty to actually cut. But I'm gonna try some of hers because I need to know. Oh wow, this looks amazing. Oh boy. I'm excited to try this log. Me too. Log. <laughs> We're like ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Wow, we are really lucking out tonight. First two boots, we tried something completely different. We've never tried before and they were both home runs. And now, I think we're actually gonna do something a little different and we're gonna go the opposite way so that way we can focus more on some of the boots that are to the left. Normally we always go to the right, but there are some really good boots that we actually skip over because they're at the end of the night. So we're gonna start and go that way. But that brings a really good question. So when you come to Epcot or World Showcase, do you start to the right or do you go to the left? So do you go towards Canada or Mexico? Let me know in the comments because I feel like that is something that people will go back and forth on through the ages. Jackie is a firm believer on going towards Canada, but you do miss out on these boots. Like for instance, did you know they have a Coquito beer? A Coquito beer. Known it. Coquito beer. I think we'll have to get it. We'll have to get it. I've had the actual eggnog porter, but I've never had a Coquito beer, and I've actually never even heard of a Coquito before I met Jackie. 
Look at the box the redemption cookies comes in. Looks like pizza. Yeah, looks like we got a pizza, but it's just a bunch of peppermint mini cookies. That is nice lighting. <laughs> and we have Cheers. our Coquito beers. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, Coquito. Mmm. Good. Yeah. It's not that bad. It's really good. Yeah, I was wondering, like, how wow. are you going to do... A I'm not sure what the ABV is, but this is yeah. very yeah. strong. I would say that's a Coquito. No. <laughs> We're going to keep moving along, but I want to stop and see the Christmas tree on the way. I also switched out my mask. I know it's actually not supposed to be Disney, but if you know where it's from, you'll appreciate it a little bit. And there's that big, beautiful tree here in Epcot. I love when I pan up like this because then you actually get all of the sparkling happening. It's just so beautiful. And the music makes it 10 times better. A bonus actually starting to the left is you actually get to go to the Mexico stand first and you know they have some very famous margaritas but during the holidays they even have some more famous margaritas including a horchata margarita and a pumpkin spice margarita. I think I'm gonna get the horchata. Jackie's gonna get the pumpkin spice. I've had the pumpkin before and I loved it but I think I'm gonna try horchata. Look at this. There's the horchata. There's the pumpkin margarita. Thank oh, very you. famous. And then that's the tamale. Woo! And that's the Jackie. Hi. I'm feeling all types of fancy because we've had a uh, coquito beer and now I'm having a horchata margarita. Oh, it's so delicious. Holy moly. Why is that so good? It tastes like rice pudding going down my throat almost. Oh no, just do your thing. Just do your thing. Honestly, I wouldn't say that I'm like a big rum chata fan, but this is such a delicious margarita. I'm like really shocked. I didn't even say that I'm a big margarita fan either. Like so like for me to find a margarita that I'm actually like really enjoying, it's it's really awesome. I think we should definitely get on the Grand Fiesta tour since we're having some margaritas. Cheers! <laughs> I wanted to actually ride the Grand Fiesta Tour, but it looks like there's actually a very long line just to get into the pavilion, and I don't know if we have time for that. Like, the line is like stretching to get in from there, coming down the steps, and then all the way down here, going almost to Norway. They said it'd be about a 45 minute wait to actually get into the pyramid at the Mexico Pavilion And then once we got in there another 25 minute wait, so that is a long long time I mean, I would rather wait in line for frozen honestly for an hour And now that we're actually in Norway and there's tons of people surrounding us I know one place where you actually can get a little bit of space just for yourself And I'm gonna show you it right inside the gods of the Vikings Church Normally there's not anybody in here except for Jackie because I seen her just walk in there, but I'm gonna anticipate nobody else being in here. I don't know why, but Thor just has the look. You look right into his eyes right there. Isn't it intense? Especially when he grabbed Mjolnir. Oh yeah, I can see him looking straight into my soul. Looks like we're gonna hop in line now. Look at this. We are in China <laughs> Well friends, it says it's an 80 minute wait But like I said if we were planning on riding a ride I would rather wait to do frozen than actually wait over an hour to actually go on the Grand Fiesta tour Nothing wrong with the Grand Fiesta tour But I mean if you're gonna commit to an hour wait you might as well do it for something that you normally couldn't do I just love the queue inside here though. It's so beautiful. And we actually got through pretty quick. Oh, and it looks like our boat has arrived.
favorite part. Track switch. I think you enjoyed Frozen, didn't you? I liked it! it was really good. <laughs> I absolutely love Frozen, but I will have to say I do miss Maelstrom. I do, just a little bit. But Frozen's still a fantastic ride. I do miss them. R.I.P. Maelstrom. While we're actually leaving Frozen, I wanted to show you that in most of the actual gift shops, they're actually doing pavilion specific magic bands, and these are limited to a thousand. Isn't that amazing? So, this is Norway, and not all of them actually have been released yet, but I like this, I like it a lot. But now we need to be moving along. It is so different to actually go an opposite way. I'm kind of like thrown off a little bit. I know Jackie's really thrown off because she's used to always going to the right. So, this is like a uh, I don't know. I don't know where we're going to next. Even though we're not gonna get anything in the Germany Pavilion, I always find myself coming here during the holidays just so I can see the pickle tree. The whole shop in here is just perfect for the holidays, but there's always been a pickle on my tree since I was a young, young kid, and I don't have a pickle now, so I might actually get a pickle. Look at this fancy pickle tree. Isn't it so nifty? <laughs> All these pickles. They even got pickles with Santa hats on them. And since we're actually in the Germany Pavilion and we showed you the Norway Magic Band, might as well show you the Germany Magic Band that they actually have here. And this one I like a lot better than the Norway one. A little, oh my gosh, that's so cute. I these ones it. are 1,000 too, right? Yes. So limited. Super limited yeah, edition. Limited. Can you imagine collecting all of the magic I bands from the countries? That. It'd we be should. like the Infinity Gauntlet and like wear them all have <laughs> one arm. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hopped from Italy straight to Japan. Look at that view there. That is beautiful. One of the hardest things we're trying to do tonight is actually try things we normally haven't tried before and we've accomplished a lot already. I've only been to the festival like three times and uh, you'll still be shocked that there's some things that we haven't done. Japan is one of them, so maybe they got something good actually in there. Here are some of the items that they actually have here at Japan and I'm interested in the whiskey sour because it's used uh, they use plum wine and whiskey cranberry juice sugar and lemon but also the sushi tree which is basically a sushi christmas tree i don't like sushi that much but i got jackie here so she will be my taste tester i'm very excited we got the tree yes you got the tree Ooh, big big thank beer. you one big beer here oh yes drink. I love this okay, beer so because this it's like a ninja down. sword handle. Oh, I want to take a picture. Oh, Very yeah. fancy. Oh, Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 since there's not many good spots with good lighting uh, to actually enjoy food over in the Japan Pavilion, we came here to Tokyo Dining because the restaurant's currently closed, so we can just like kind of hang out. We've got a corner. Right yeah, there. we got our own little Private spot right restaurant. here. I like it. Oh. Yeah, okay. Oh, I have. Oh, we got a cheers. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> sushi. Got to get a little bit of both. Sushi good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I got the Sapporo beer. Now, this isn't a holiday exclusive. It's just a beer that I actually really enjoy. They sell it here year-round. Yeah, but the whiskey sour, Jackie's going to try. And if she does like it, I think I'll eventually get it too. But I was just kind of in a beer mood. I mean, I love like plum wine. So I don't know why I wouldn't like the whiskey sour. <laughs> but like I said, sometimes you just got to have a beer. 
I think Jackie actually really enjoyed her drink, but now I'm actually admiring the little tiny glass that they put it in. Very fancy. Put it in your purse, put it in your purse. I shouldn't tell you guys this, but this was the perfect spot to actually come and enjoy some food and like drinks, especially when this is closed, like this entranceway. Wow, this is a really good one. I'll remember this forever. In physical distance. So excited. Thank you for your cooperation. Did oh you hear gosh, that right I there? It. Yeah, it was Mark a Daniels place. representing there. It was Mark Daniels. I'm really enjoying the fact that we're actually trying a whole bunch of different things. We're moving along, but we're coming up on one of the stands that I absolutely love, and that's the Lahayam, and they have my favorite beer. But like I said, we're more interested in the things we haven't done. But if I was casually hanging out here, I'd get the jelly donut beer. Right here it is. My favorite beer, it is the Hanukkah Jelly Donut Pastry Ale. So amazing, but we will definitely come back and get that another night because like I said, I love it. It's okay that I'm not getting my favorite Jelly Donut beer because our next stop is gonna have a drink that I did not try before, but looked like one of the drinks that I would absolutely love. So I could compromise. Normally, the Holiday Kitchen here in France is known to have those fantastic, like, Grey Gru slushies. But for the holidays, they have a frozen hot chocolate martini. And it comes with Grey Gru vanilla, vodka, and chocolate milk. I am so excited to try this. I knew there was some chocolate going on there. And I know a pretty good spot to come enjoy this frozen hot chocolate, especially with all the hype surrounding the France Pavilion. Right here in the newest attraction. Look at this beautiful frozen hot chocolate. I have a hard time saying frozen hot chocolate, but this is gonna be so delicious. And this is where I was talking about the future entrance to one of the newest attractions at Walt Disney World, Remy's Ratatouille sitting here actually right outside and I'm just pretty amazed on how beautiful the view is. We have like the, the Ratatouille like entrance sign and then you're watching the Skyliners just go by and plus the nice France ambience loop music. This is good. Now I guess let's see if the drink matches the atmosphere. Why is that so that's so good. There's like a weird texture, but it's, it's so amazing. It tastes like straight chocolate ice cream. It is so good. Like, I don't understand. This is up, up. These were so amazing, guys. Absolutely loved them. We literally slurped them down in a second. I do recommend getting a straw. I tried doing it without one, <laughs> and I got whipped cream all over my nose. But I really love it, and I love just sitting out here. It was so nice. And uh, I think the park is getting close to closing, so we might want to try to squeeze one more thing in. We have nine minutes to get from International Gateway all the way over to Test Track to see if we can ride that at the end of the night. And hopefully we make it, nine minutes. Is this doable? We're gonna find out. Actually make it eight minutes. And we actually successfully done a full lap around World Showcase because we started in Canada and now we are actually back at the UK. 9.55 guys, oh and we're by the tree. Oh we're gonna cut it close, but I think this can happen. Three minutes. We are so close, I can hear it. I can hear it. 9.58. Oh, holy moly. We did it. We did it, 9.59. We make it? 9.59. My legs are burning. I cannot believe we actually made it over here, guys. That's awesome. Don't you love that last end of the night rush? Like, we gotta get there, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it. We're not gonna make it! We're gonna make it! End of the night, 18 minutes to get on, and that's actually us starting outside. Very fancy. We got our own car. Fancy, fancy. Could you ask for a better ride at Epcot to end the night? Brilliant, right?
I guess that's gonna do it for me. So much fun, I'm so happy we were able to get on test track. I had such a great night here at Epcot. My glasses are fogging up pretty crazy now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Can you see me? I don't even know. Bye.